trailer for this movie, and I thought, well, this kind of looks interesting. It looks very interesting. Mm-hmm. And then Lisa says it's like uh, like a teen lit, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm allowed to go see those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm able to do that. Divergent uh, is the name of the movie. And here's uh, Zoe Kravitz. Hi, Zoe. Hi. Hi. Tell me what is uh, what's going on with this movie? It looks really interesting, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know what is a divergent. What does that mean? Well, basically, the film takes place in the future, and the way that they've created kind of a system to make things work is that there are different factions, and you're born into a different faction, and that's kind of what you dedicate your life to, and and that's where your family is. And there's a faction dedicated to honesty and bravery and love and intelligence. And um, when you turn a certain age, you are given a test where the test tells you kind of where you should be. Like you're allowed to leave your faction if you want. And, Wait, and let me get some clarification. So those are all different. Like you're either brave or you're love or you're whatever. They're not exactly. all. They're, exactly. they're different ones. Okay, go ahead. Exactly. And so um, when you turn about 16, you have there's a, there's a, there's a test that they give you where they can see where you're meant to be. And a lot of people are stay in the faction they're born into. Some people change. And Shailene Woodley, Tris' character, um, she is divergent, which means she has a personality that is all of those things. Um, and so she can't be placed. And that's what it means to be a divergent. Mm. That sounds like a well-rounded, healthy individual is what they're talking about. <laughs> exactly. So you're not in the future, in this uh, dis- uh, dystopia, you're not supposed to be well rounded. You're supposed to be one, and that's it. Exactly. What are you in in the movie? In the movie, I come from Candor, which is the faction dedicated to honesty, and I leave and and join Dauntless, faction dedicated to bravery. Ah, so you okay? In real life, which one are you? Oh, I mean, uh, maybe maybe Candor. I'm pretty honest. Yeah. I think. Um, is is this a movie that I could in, that I could enjoy? <laughs> you don't know me. I'm asking Sanchez. Sanchez, is this I a, a, so. a, meeting, a, a you movie I could enjoy? Because I got into Hunger Games, even though I guess I'm not the target for it oh, or whatever. I love but that uh, movie. Hunger Games, great. It I is. think this movie is kind of a mix of, or the books at least are kind of a mix of between like Hunger Games and maybe The Giver. It has a lot of different oh, aspects to it. I haven't heard The Giver. That's that's a really good comparison. Mm. Uh-huh. Hey, who has a cooler dad than Zoe Kravitz? Anybody? Right. I don't think anybody has a cool, a, a cooler. Like, who can be that cool? Like in middle age, right? <laughs> that is He's true. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Cool mom too. I'm right. Yes, also a very cool mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you musical? Did you get that? Uh, did you get that gene? I am. Yeah, I have a band called Lola Wolf. Mm. Oh wow! What kind of music do you play? Um, I sing and write the music, um, and it's it's kind of like a. Kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of uh, 80s pop, 90s R&B vibe. I don't know. Kind of, it's kind of always changing. <laughs> I remember when when uh, when Lenny, when your dad's first album came out, I was so relieved because it was like at that time rock and roll was mm-hmm. extremely white, very very white. <laughs> and I remember at the time it's like good, ah, glad to see, <laughs> glad to see some black folk getting back into rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> It was. A... I, I, I'm also glad to see some black people in rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so in this movie, if you're div- the, the different thing, they're not like they don't have superpowers. There's no superpowers attached no. to it or anything. Powers, no, no. Which I think is great. It's like kind of a superhero film without the superpowers, without real people. You know. Now, how far in the future does this take place? Because I know it's supposed to be in Chicago, but how far in the future is this world supposed to be? You know, I don't really remember what the year is. It's far enough where they, they you know, the, the young people don't really remember it being any different, you know. So right. it's, it's far, far in the future. Mm. Do you have specific jobs in each of the factions? Like, do you, one is yeah, mostly computers? Yeah, kind of run different things. Like Dauntless is, is like the, it's kind of like being in the Army and um, Ariadite, you know, they kind of, uh, they, they are in charge of, you know, they want to, they actually want to be in charge of the government, which right now is being run by, um, the faction dedicated to selflessness. So there's kind of a battle there about who should be running things and what qualities may be more fit for that, that job. Hey, uh, because of this and because of X-Men and other stuff, have you have you done any of these uh, big sci-fi conventions where the people show up and they're just they're just going crazy to find out what the next big thing's gonna be? Um, yeah, we went to Comic Con this year, which was really cool. It's a really it's a really awesome experience. It's really intense. Everyone's 
you know, dressed up, and, you know, there's so many people there, and people are such diehard fans for the different kinds of things there. It's really cool, actually. And did you just do kind of your bit, or did you did you get to did you go around and see any of the other other stuff at that? No, we were we were we were we were pretty busy. We had like a you know like a, a panel to do, and then we kind of sat and, and met the fans and signed autographs and stuff. It was really awesome. Uh-huh. Right. And, and uh, this is a, is a book that it's based on a series of books. Is that what it is? Yes, sir. Okay, so you probably got got some more work, work here for the next ten years, probably. Right? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take all the work I can get. <laughs> okay. And, w- and when does it come out? Is it this week? Yeah, March tw- well, two weeks. Two March we- 23rd. 23rd. All right. It's Divergent. Uh, really, really cute and talented uh, Zoe Kravitz. Thanks, Zoe, for being on with us. Thank you. Have a good morning. All right. You we'll too. see you. Bye-bye. I said the, I saw the uh, trailer.